Welcome back to Golf Quest, everyone. We are in week two of the FedEx Cup playoffs. In week one, I managed to finish solo fourth in the event at the Grand National, and that netted me just over 400 FedEx Cup points and vaulted me into the top 10, but just into the top 10 at solo ninth. And I just have a little bit of a point buffer there, not much at all. Now next week for the Tour Championship, only the top 10 players make it into that, so I still need a decent finish this week in order to secure my spot into next week. Now this week's course is Tegazoo, and it is no joke. It's long, and the greens are a nightmare. They run off in all sorts of directions. Just wait until number 11. It's an absolute crazy green, and it's really, really hard to keep it close, even with 10-foot gimmies. So far, I've played round one and two, and I shot a pair of 77s. Normally, I wouldn't be thrilled with that, but on this course, I actually am pretty happy with that, and I would take one more. Gonna give it a go. Hopefully, this will get me into next week's Tour Championship, but we'll have to wait and find out. It's funny, my warm up went really well and I'm hitting so bad right now. Oh, this is going to be a long day if I keep this up. Okay, so that was my first really well played hole. Back with a birdie, back on track.
It's a good thing my chipping has been on point because the rest of my game has been a bit of a disaster. I cannot hit my 9 iron today. Massive pull every time. Hey, really quickly, if you're watching and you're not subscribed to the channel, if you consider doing that and hitting the like button, that would be amazing. It really helps the channel out and I really, really appreciate it. All right, here we go. Hardest hole in the golf course. Okay, so this is where the green gets stupid. Really, I'm surprised that didn't come down and roll it off the fringe. I'm barely going to touch this, and I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it on the green. Oh no! So there you go, folks. You could be watching my FedEx Cup playoff dream go down the drain right here. And this also is kind of what doesn't make sense. The ball won't stop, but you throw it at pass and then it gets stuck up there. So I don't know. So that's what a 10 looks like on a par 4.
Yeah. That's nice, but I need a whole lot more. Well, on a positive note, that was one of the better three woods I've hit in a while. There we go, 83. I'm guessing that's gonna take me out of the top 10 now. I don't think I have a shot. So chances are you have now seen my last BGA round of this season and we'll have to wait until the fall uh, to get started on a new season. But if this was my last round, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I did check off the one box of getting a victory and it was fun competing. Even though the league is for fun, it's still enjoyable. Uh, if by some miracle I do make the top 10, I'll be back here next week one more time um, but like I said I doubt that thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Golf Quest <laughs>